Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be doing something really cool with a app and a mouse and that doesn't sound very cool at all does it so but let's look at the uh, things that we're doing it on we're doing it on an iPad yes this iPad this is an iPad Pro 9.7 inch it's in a bridge keyboard case uh, and this is a Citrix X1 mouse and this is just my uh, iPad mini case acting as a mouse pad. Anyway, the coolness is we're going to be using an iMac and a Windows 10 machine on an iPad with a mouse. And this is something that you can do very easily. This is not any enterprise solution. It's not using like Zendesk or anything like that. This is simply a at-home solution. If you want to use your iPad to control an iMac or MacBook, anything Mac uh, OS 10 um, or Windows 10, and you can do this anywhere. You can be in a coffee shop with your with your MacBook or with your iPad, and you can connect to your home PC uh, and freak people out. You can be like a full Windows 10 experience on an iPad. Now, this is in early form. There is no sound okay with one of the protocols and we'll get into that all right so let's look at it the app you would need to download and this is available in the iOS App Store is called Jump Desk okay it's this little guy right here so I'm gonna go ahead and launch Jump Desk and as you can see here let's just go to settings and do oh there's appearance there's the computer list there's the keyboard mouse and gestures and it has a physical mouse selection and that's where we get to use the Citrix mouse but I think it also uses the um, like a Swift Swift mouse Swift zoom I don't know it uses another mouse there's two mouse that you can get two mice that you can get uh, with this app and, and use them both of them are going to cost the Citrix X1 is the cheaper solution and it's also Citrix X1 works with Zendesk uh, and the Citrix receiver and that's more for an enterprise thing but it has dual purpose okay so you can actually say pointer speed reverse scroll and this is more for like the uh, that's for the physical mouse and then you actually have a virtual mouse 3d touch uh, sticky zoom uh, all that kind of stuff you can go in there and mess with the mouse and the settings and the appearance uh, align screen to top start with toolbar hidden start zoomed out there's a lot of different things you can personalize security wise uh, you can disable sleep auto reconnect lock the jump desk which protects your connection using touch ID or your passcode by lump locking jump desk when not in use so it's just like you're away from your keyboard for a while and just locks pretty cool you can set that up um, so you can go over here and you can say computer details I want to connect to this host or IP you can use RDP or VNC uh, is an option those are the two protocols you can use that are standard okay you've heard of those you've heard of RDP you've heard of VNC sound works through these you can do this but jump desk has this awesome new thing called fluid you can see this connection type is fluid okay it allows you to do stuff you could not do through RDP this is groundbreaking stuff it is kick butt it just needs a little time to get the sound in there and this thing will be awesome okay it's already awesome it'll just be that more awesome okay I also have clipboard so I can copy and paste between the iPad and the PC that I'm connected to and it says swap buttons swaps the left and right mouse but left and right mouse buttons but eh, we don't need to do that anyway let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and just jump into my iMac okay so simply all you gotta do is click this button here and we're going to connect to my iMac and you're gonna see the clouds and everything will go away and I can grab my mouse and I can start controlling my iMac look at this I am on my iMac and I'm using a mouse on an iPad. You can see I got a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes here. Got my finder, got some stuff that needs to be updated. There's my Java. I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. Continue. 
verified Java version. Look how fast that is. That is just super. This is using Fluid. Okay, this isn't using VNC, this isn't using RDP, this is using their new protocol type called Fluid. Okay, works just like that, out of the gate. Amazingly cool stuff. If I come down here, you can see there's my my little uh, test bar down here so I can launch different things. A little Spotify going on here. This is just like I'm sitting at my iMac, but I'm on my iPad. And I could be in a coffee shop controlling my iMac from home in a coffee shop halfway around the world, and I'm using a mouse. So I'm being super, super productive. Okay? So if I click up here, and I want to just disconnect from my uh, iMac, I'll just disconnect. And I'm back in the main screen, just like that. Okay? Now, works with Mac OS 10. How about Windows? How about Windows 10? Well, here's my Windows 10. I'm just going to push it. Now here, again, we're using Type Fluid. And I do have to install an agent on each of my machines. This is how it's connected, and that's how it's using that protocol. Because the OS's, you, you look up Fluid for OS, uh, Windows 10, eh, you're not going to find anything. It's not built in. It's something you got to install from Jump Desk. So you install the agent on the Mac and then the PC, and it gives you this ability to use this new thing. All right, so we're using Fluid for the Windows machine, so we're gonna go ahead and just click it. We're gonna travel through time and space in the clouds. Whoa, look at that, I love that. And here we go, I got two displays on this machine. So how's this gonna work, you say? Well, that's not gonna work for me, so I'm just gonna click over here, and we're gonna just go to one display, there we go. So there's just the, the one display, okay? And you can see this is a typical Windows 10 desktop. I've got all my icons up here. I got my start or my taskbar down here. Uh, I can control this with this mouse. Uh, if I want to go up here and I want to say, you know what, let's just make it where it's all displays and I move my mouse to the right. Look at that. I'm on my secondary screen on my Windows 10 machine down, downstairs is where it's at. If I move back to the left, I'm back on my primary. And you're saying like, oh, how does that work? Well, let's go ahead. Uh, can I drag this over to my secondary screen? Yes, look at that. And now I can go back to my other primary screen. This is just like being in front of my Windows 10 desktop. And I'm using it on an iPad with a mouse. Holy crap. Is this not the coolest stuff you've seen? Look at that. There's my secondary display. I can maximize it. And this is... No latency whatsoever. Look how, just like it says, fluid, as in fluid motion. Just awesome. Okay? Now, I'm going to blow your mind here. When sound starts working, okay, I am going to blow your mind. How am I going to blow your mind? I'm going to launch World of Warcraft on my Windows 10 desktop downstairs. Now, again, this is on the same network, but I can do this. I've done this from remote areas. Oh, and I got an update. All right, I'm going to pause it. We'll be right back. All right, well, while that's updating, I'm going to do some motion here, okay? So we're just going to watch a video. Try doing this with RDP and have it look this good. Look at that. Again, no sound, but ding dang it. We're getting there. I'm going to zoom in on the screen here, okay? So you can see how awesome this is. This is like very good graphics. No latency whatsoever. And I've played WoW on my iPad with a mouse, and it works perfectly. I just don't have any sound. But look at that. Look at that video. There is no lag, no latency. It's very good quality video streaming to an iPad. Is that not great? Okay, I can play now. So let's go ahead. I'm going to stop with the talk. I'm going to get logged in, and we'll be right back. Look at this, guys. World of Warcraft on an iPad. Now, this is just using keyboard right now. But I'm just walking around Stormwind, so you can see. Look how beautiful this is. Just so fluid. Now, I'm going to take this mouse, and I'm going to take a look at the sky, just like I would be if I'm sitting at the computer. Well, maybe not so bad. 
There we go. Kind of touchier. But look at that. Zoom. Look at that. Is that not the best? Probably be better if I used both keyboard and this. Look at that. I need to adjust the settings on the mouse just a little bit. You see it's kind of touchy, but you can just look at the beauty. And when they get sound in this, this is going to be great. There was just a little hookup. You can see there, just a little stuttering, but nothing terrible. Look at that. Here you go, guys. World of Warcraft on an iPad with a mouse. Again, I could use this for a lot of different things. Um... Go ahead and just quit out of this. And uh, go from there. And it's like switching over to my secondary screen. Look at that. Back and forth. And World of Warcraft just sitting there playing. Completely cool. Completely awesome. Again, I'll have a link in the show notes where you can get the Citrix X1 mouse. Uh, and then the app itself, Jump Desk, uh, that you'll have to get to the iOS store, download to your iPad. Uh, and then you're good. You can connect up to, I don't know, multiple machines. I mean, not all at the same time, obviously, but I've got two configured, a Windows 10 and a Mac OS 10, and, uh, you know, back and forth we go. I can jump to and fro, and uh, they work perfect. So this is just a super cool combination, uh, and this makes this iPad that much more productive. If I want to be in here messing around with Word, PowerPoint, if I want to be productive and actually doing like spreadsheets, stuff like that, I can be. Um, but you know, the, the the kid in me, I want a game. And one of those things is like, ever since way back when, when I started playing World of Warcraft, I don't know how many years ago, I don't play it as much as I used to, but I was just all like, wouldn't that be cool if I could play that on an iPad? That day's coming. It's so close. All I need is some sound, and I'm there. And it really... I don't need the sound right now. I can just play it like this. If I don't want to be downstairs, I just want to lay on the sofa and play uh, World of Warcraft. Maybe I'm just farming or something. I don't care about sound. Not so much. I could just sit here and do that on the, on the sofa. Yeah. Good stuff. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.